Hello and welcome to my channel, channel where we make structural engineering design simple and easy. My name is Olodu Konyedi and I'm your host. I want to say a very big thank you to everyone who has subscribed to this channel. And if you are yet to subscribe, please click that subscribe button, click that like button. And um, I want to say a big thank you to everyone who has subscribed. Please keep subscribing, keep sharing it, and we'll be bringing out more and more of um, our training platform. So today we'll be talking about um, doing your design using Prota 2021. Um, our previous videos have been 2018 and now we've moved up to 2021 is a bit tricky but we are yet to clear up every thing that is not too clear so if you open the prota 2021 this is the interface you will see and you see open project you see new project if you have an old project you click on open project and open that project but if it's a new project just click on new project and you start so we click on new project give it time you name it let's name it test and you click on um bs8110 uk we say okay and it opens so it will open there like this. but if you click on it and double click on it it will it will um become active so um two ways that we start our project is by creating your axis line as we've previously said but if you don't if you've not gone through our previous video please check our previous video so you create axis line and there are three methods of doing that you can create your axis line manually or you can use them um, orthogonal generated um, means to create your axis line or you just import from AutoCAD so we'll be doing all three in this video so starting from um, the manually created um, axis line you click on modeling so if you look up here you see building setup modeling loading review analysis you see design drawing and report DMA display view and help so those are the areas will be working with so going to modeling you see grid line you see how to go now as is general so these are the two means that will create so let's start manually look at the label a you click hold down your control key you click if you come here now let's say one you click and you hold down your control key we've created um, our axis line so if you want to offset right click you see offset and click on shift and f2 with that you have your your means to edit your lines you can edit your lines anyhow you want same principle uh, offset shift f2 if you are coming down is negative but if you are going up is positive let's say we have three we have um, negative 350 so so it all depends on so this is one means of doing it the second means is by clicking on your octagonal as is generator click on it you see all this if it's okay by you you say okay so it automatically generates this so this uh the means by how we create our houses lines so we've done this so the next one we need to do is if we want to import from AutoCAD already check our previous video on how to import from AutoCAD we will not go into that but after you've saved after you've done everything save your AutoCAD work as a DSF file so in doing that go back to building set out if you go back to building set out you either use a standard reference drawing or dsf imports import 
So let's click on external reference drawing. Uh, you get all this. So when you click, you click on add here. Yeah. When you click on add, this is what we want. So you've successfully done this. So we can click on, uh, let's click on this. Then we say import. So if you import, these are the things you need to check if they are the ones, grid lines, columns, and after all this, you now say import. So with that, it will import your, your work. So you close and you say, okay. So automatically it will import this. So this is, this is how it does the importation. After everything, save your work. So I've shown you how to do um, the three method of creating your axis line. So come, when you finish this part now, the next part you are going to is modeling. Click on modeling. You still see column, you see wall, you see beam, you see slab. We've already generated our columns. What you need is to click on your beam. So you click on beam and the beam is telling us 250 change it to 225 by 450 so if you say 450 you've done that so you come here click click let's click click you click uh, click click So we've, we've done all our, all our beams. Uh, we'll come back to modeling slab. Slab we said 150, not 120, 150. Uh, we'll come to load, go to load. Yeah, click on room. Yeah, on impose load, right click it. You see it, so you take the one you want. And we place it on where we want them so this we are done with the with the um, slab and, and beam we are done with slab and beams so what do we need to do is to go back to this um, building set out when you get to building set out go to story and once you see story, click on it. You see insert, st uh, select story. You see insert. You see remove. You see edit uh, generate. So we click insert. So it all depends on the number of floors we are going. Like what I've said in um, Prota 2018, if you are doing a single floor, uh, Prota sees the roof as another floor. So you see two floors. But if you are going for three, you are doing a um, two-story building. Then. It sees it as three. So your first floor, second floor, and roof. It sees all as as um, floor. So we are doing just a single floor. So we say two. Once you say two, say okay. Once you say okay, you say okay. It automatically gets you here. So what we need to do is to come back to one. Go back to story. Click on this, and you say generate story. So this automatically same procedure we we use but this will be our roof so we take out anything slab anything slab should be taken out of it you said okay complete okay so with this we've gotten our um, roof but already our roof beam is 300 and that so we can come to beam instead of we changing it one after the other click on the first hold shift and the last right click then you edit edit the um the section edit section yes it's edit section so if you do that you just come here and change it to 300 change it to 300 and you say okay automatically it changes all to 300 it changes all to 300 good 
so what we need to do next is to right click edit wall load uh, already we are having one for the roof height one height one and these two points point two three we say okay same procedure right click copy wall load then we paste it on all this is the second floor we say paste it on all we paste copy wall load on it we say yes that is it so we are done go back to story one same procedure we use right click let's 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 click edit wall load uh, for the floors we are using three three point four seven our height is two point two point seven two point seven uh wall to three point two three we say okay same procedure copy copy wall load and we paste it on it paste mm, we paste copy wall load we say yes and we are done after this two ways that you can do you can come to view click on view and uh, we click on um, we click on this let's say we do two ways then we create we click on this so this is how you are looking at your work so you can see both structure as you are as you are designing so let's proceed after we've done this what do we need to do um after loading um we come to analysis analysis we, we on um this protocol 2021 uh, load decomposition was taken out and infused with um fe flow analysis so you won't see load decomposition here so click if you click on building analysis click on load combination uh, we say load loading generator we say okay when you click you say okay to generate the load you say okay come to edit material on edit material we go to uh, column how i do i check and i check so that they are all out of it 16 i click 16 i click 20 okay um wall i live um, we didn't have any wall same procedure we do that and we click on 16 and 20. okay we do slab slab is um, 12 we do 12 for slab um links same procedure we do that for link come to uh, foundation same procedure click and we say this is okay we say okay so we are done with this so after we are done with this go to f e floor as where well, we change all of them point two three uh, most time I'm having issues changing it so I'll do them one after the other but if you can do it automatically fine what I'm having this is what is giving me uh, okay we have okay we say okay so with that we proceed yeah go ahead so give it time to run to run the analysis when it's done with the analysis you will get your results okay um we are 
we are done you say okay it's good you close your work come back to building analysis come to uh, analysis and we click on building analysis check the ones you want run building analysis allow it to run for it to run then you get your value allow it to run when it's done it will bring out your results so we are done with uh, analysis and design we say okay and we're good so this one is done it brings out the analysis here so let's 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 close this for now so it brings out the analysis so what what we do is let's leave here we'll come to design when you see your design you see your column design story beams read foundation beam uh, slab analysis and or whatnot so this is where we do the design so all our design every one of them pass so double click on it you see it, it passed um, top reinforcement and bottom reinforcement so there's a beautiful thing with this that you can easily change and work it's, it's quite easy and nice to to do so with this we are done with the same procedure so if everything is okay what you need to do next is drawing and reports this is where you get your drawing and report if you click on proto detail it will take you to proto detail and open up the drawings for you so i think this is a is a brief um, um a tour on the 2021 proto structure if you have any question please feel free to comment on the comment section and we'll be glad to respond to you but if you are yet to subscribe to our channel please hit that subscribe button i will be glad you did so until i come again next time remain blessed